guys, it's uh, Thursday at Diversity and I thought it would be cool for Stacy, the owner and CEO of Diversity, to give you some tips about coloring natural hair. Um, so yeah, that's what today. If you have any questions or um, any concerns that she doesn't go over, please comment those down below. Please subscribe and follow us on social media. That's Diversity, D-Y-E-V-E-R-C-I-T-Y on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You guys have a great day. Bye. You always want to pre-shampoo the hair. That way you can remove all product buildup so your color takes very well. Remember not to disturb the scalp too much because you just don't want to risk the client possibly burning from you scratching the scalp on accident. We're here with Stacy Hill. She's the owner and CEO of Diversity Salon. She's also a natural hair expert. She's been recognized by many um, Extra yeah. Magazine, Hype Hair, and BuzzFeed. So she's here today to answer some of our questions about natural hair and color. Stacy, does coloring natural hair dry it out? Coloring natural hair does not dry it out if the client continues to use products that help hydrate the hair. So it's making sure that they use high quality ingredient products. So does that just mean my shampoo or other products as well? It means your shampoo, conditioner, and your styling products. People don't understand that you may have the best of products, but if your shampoo and your conditioner is awful, then it's not going to make that big of a difference in the hair. If you color your natural hair, are you still natural? Yes, you are still natural. <laughs> so it doesn't change the curl pattern of the hair, and I'm sure I'm getting ahead of us, but I feel like all of this ties in together. Coloring natural hair doesn't change the curl pattern unless you're going up to a higher lift color. So once you hit about a level seven, up to a 10 or 12, depending on which scale of color you're using, that's when you start to loosen the curl pattern, so it starts to alter it. Which is why when we were offering relaxer services, we would not allow the clients to go up to a certain level if they had a relaxer, because it was like double relaxing the hair. It, you're still natural. You can do your color, ladies. Can you color transitioning hair? You can color transitioning hair. You just want to be very, very careful, because where that relaxed hair and the straight hair meet, that it tends to be weaker in that area. So again, when we talk about doing high lift color, if you're brave enough and your stylist is brave enough to do that, I would probably do highlights versus doing all over color. That way you know exactly where that color is placed and where, if the hair is strong enough to take all over color. Or of course, the traditional way, which we should all be doing anyway, is the strand testing. So if you do a few strands here and there and you wait a few weeks, hidden strands so you can't really see them. That way you know if the hair again is strong enough to take a high lift color. But you can color transition hair. I do want to go back to saying if you're doing darker colors, demi-permanent or semi-permanent, they tend to just coat the hair and they don't penetrate the hair strand as deeply, so it is safer to do those. Can I use box color on my hair? <laughs> and I meant to roll my eyes on camera. So, <laughs> you can use box color, but do I condone that? No, I don't. I always tell people to seek out a professional when they're doing color. One, because you're not a chemist and you didn't go to school. And of course the commercials make it look oh so easy, and so do the boxes. It shows you a color and you think, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna get this color. But you don't understand the chemistry and the science behind it. I would say to definitely seek out someone who specializes in color that way, if something goes wrong or something happens, they know how to correct that color. You can choose to do the box color and then pay us two to three times more to correct the box color when it turns green, and that's not what you were looking for. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. 
Um, I just wanted to give you a sneak peek of some of the new clothing that we've gotten um, into diversity. We're going to be putting it on our website and having it in store, of course. So take a look. And again, if you have any questions, please put them in our description box down below. Please put any video requests that you have for Stacy or any of our stylists.